Here's a recap of day two of the Houston Host 2022 weekend. So we had brunch on the block. Here I am with Vicky. I got to profile some of the vendors at the event. Here's Miss Brenda with Savannah Rose Beverages. And she's also in HEB stores, who's our sponsor. Here's Keandre over here leading the Stuff Wing eating contest. The event was held at Stuff Wing. It was super fun. Um, outside of this, we had chances to interface with HEB and learn more about getting into HEB, working with HEB's influencers. And we had this voting panel where we met Kendrick Sampson from Insecure. Then we ended the day with this fashion show at the Urban Smoke in Houston. Day two was a blast, but let's hop into day three and see what we have in store. Stay tuned. Hey Glams, happy Sunday. Let me zoom in here. I am getting ready for brunch. So this is the last day of Houston Host You and we've got a brunch um, at noon and then an oxtail dinner at six tonight. So I just have two more outfits to wear. I've got about an hour to get my makeup done. And I was like, you know what? Let me get on here for the Glams and do my makeup here since I haven't done it in a while. This lighting in this bathroom is superb. I can't wait until God blesses me with a really nice home place to shoot some more aesthetic content, you know. So I'm taking the NYX uh, micro brow pencil in the color chocolate. Let me do what the influencers do, little content creators, make the beauty content creators. Let's get it in there so y'all can see it. And I'm just drawing on my brow. And I'm looking in the mirror here. Hold on, I don't need, I just put my contacts in, they not working. <laughs> Let me get a little mirror here so I can see up close what I'm doing so y'all don't think I'm crazy. Y'all, I've had such a great time. This has really been a blessing for me. Um, we went out and had a few hours to ourselves. So we went to the tuck room close to the Galleria. And it's at the IPIC Theater, the top of the IPIC Theater. We had drinks and tapas. But I was able to learn more from the other content creator influencers here about their experiences as black content creators in their perspective areas. We've got a few people here from New York. Um, we've got some people here from San Antonio. Influencers here from Dallas. Um, we've got some that are local to Houston. And I'm from Nashville. So really learning about our perspectives, you know, when it comes to the camaraderie or lack thereof in the our respective communities. Um, as far as us being able to say, hey, such and such brand is trying to lowball me. Let's all band together and, you know, make sure that we get the most that we can. Because when it comes down to the white content creators, they don't have to do as much to get good money. Like, we have to fight for our worth. And so, sometimes there can be a crab in the barrel mentality between the black and brown communities when it comes down to just wanting to be one of men, you know, someone in the room. So we talked about the need to band together and really, you know, force these businesses to pay us our work, you know. So that was such a great conversation. Also, you know, I was able to learn more about monetization and, and pitching to brands and ensuring that I'm getting paid, you know. so. Candidly, so many companies want to use my platform and reach out to you all, have access to the glams, you know, but they don't want to pay me for my content. And it's like you free product does not keep the lights on. You know, I just got laid off. I'm no longer in corporate America. I no longer have a steady stream of income. And what I'm doing here matters so that I can eat at this point. I don't want to be homeless. <laughs> so I'm just like, that conversation was so, 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 so important to me to hear from them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I left my brow pen that I normally use at home. 
So we just gonna roll on, roll on, roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going in with the Milani um, No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. It's got Lily and Bamboo extracts. And I like to go in with it. Now, you've heard me say before, my brows on a good day are sisters, but on a regular day may be cousins. First cousins are hope. Sometimes it can be second cousins. That's a problem. But I like to put my primer on before I carve out my brows with the concealer because I want it to kind of get into my skin and start activating. Have enough time to do its thing before I put my um, foundation on. So, Also, y'all, I have mentioned that my teeth are a hot mess right now. I just went through the first phase of a detailed cleaning. And now I'm trying to figure out, you know, being laid off, how I'm going to pay for mouth restoration. So putting that in God's hands, but I'm also content creator and I'm coming here authentically again, just because I mentioned in the process of me building my glam life, I want you all to see the ugly parts too, or the more not glamorous, uncomfortable parts, because it may resonate with some of you as well, you know. We've got struggles and things that make us insecure, but it doesn't mean you stop showing up. So I'm going to do a better job of showing up as me, however that looks, and hopefully y'all will appreciate that. So I put on that primer. Now, I absolutely love the Butterscotch Too Faced Matte Concealer. I got to keep time here. I can't talk too much because I'm supposed to be downstairs at the car they we've been riding in black cars like escorted you know drivers opening the doors and everything i feel like a freaking celebrity this just reminded me that you know god's timing is perfect and god will put you in rooms that you don't even think you deserve to be in you know, if you're doing the right thing with God and you're doing the right thing with your audience, the right people will see you. And so, in this season, when I really told God, hey, okay, I'll let go of corporate, it let go of me, <laughs> to be honest. But I'm going to go in and carve now. You know, it's just amazing what God's been doing for me. And had I had that corporate job, yeah, I could have brought a laptop or, but I was a contractor and they didn't care about me there. You know, it was clear to me that I was just that. And I've worked in spaces where I was a team lead and we had contractors and I wanted to make them feel good, you know, but I, I definitely would not work for this company again. And I'm sure the feeling is mutual and I'll leave it at that. But I'm thankful for the increase that I had in income and the ability to take care of my, you know, mom's rent and bills and do a little bit more with building my glam life. I invested in this camera last November because of the job that I just got laid off from. So God puts you in places for a reason. Trust the time. And now I'm in a season where I'm having to trust what he's doing with my social media. Also, I still have that real estate course that I've got to get finished by December the 30th. So, lots of things going on. Still trying to pay for rent. Um, I had to sell my car. I know that's very candid to say, but I sold Midnight, my 2017 Kia Forte so that I could have some money to get through. Um, what's, what month did we just get out of? October and get through summer September. Um, and that was a humbling experience for me because I wasn't planning to have to sell anything. <laughs> you know, you don't go into the year like, what's about to break down for me? You know, what's about to go wrong in my life? But I can't say that anything's gone wrong. I think everything happens according to plan. So today we may be having a a cousin day. I can't tell. 
Yeah, they don't look bad. I just like them to be so perfect. And then I like to sleep. You know, did I save in time, y'all? I woke up so early this morning, it was dilly-dallying, and then went to sleep close to time for me to get up. And now I'm over here like, ooh, I gotta get my clothes on, I gotta do my makeup, I gotta do all of these things now in an hour. I'm just taking my fingers to kind of blend this in so that it's not harsh. Honey, this duck back here is giving me something, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I like to do my eyeshadow next. So I'm going to wear either this snakeskin shirt with this nude um, sleeveless blazer type thing and some jeans. And I want to do this red lip. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the eye if I want it to be dramatic. Also recognizing that. We're going to have another event later on today, some oxtail competition. And I can't tell if the dress code for that is more dress up. I'm thinking food and eating will probably have jeans. So I don't know if I want to go ahead and do it big on the eyes now and then wait or what. So we'll see how I feel. I know these people are going to be so mad that I'm rubbing my brushes on their towels to clean off. I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Dark Bronze Palette and I'm going to take this brown here and just it's 10.50 right now 10.51 and I need to be down there at 11.30 so I don't have too much time to be going crazy. I've got glitter from last night on my face that's the qualm with doing glitter looks. The glitter will be on your body for three weeks. I'm just rambling now, y'all. I'll edit this. I don't know. I'm just in a place where I'm so thankful for the direction that God is moving me in. I'm thankful for the people God's aligning me with. Um, I, I'm thankful for the opportunities he's bestowing upon me. And I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. And although I'm scared, you know, my stability has been pulled from me. I'm trusting that there's a, a, a plan and a purpose in all of this. And I did this conversation. I made a post where I talked about breakup, makeup, setup. And God has to break you out of what you want and what you've orchestrated to give you what he's got for you. And then the setup part, makeup, you have to be made new. You let things go, but there's skills that you gain. Now I'm going to go in with this Juvie, uh, what is this, Profusion Festival palette. And I want to use this color here. Am I putting my finger on it? Hold on. This color here. Hmm, do I want to do that color? I changed my mind. Maybe I want to do that red. Okay, I lied. I'm doing this deep red. See how quickly things change around here, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yesterday we had brunch on the block and it was a celebration of black businesses here in Houston. The whole point of Houston Host is to celebrate black culture, black excellence, black business, black camaraderie, black love, just black. Black, black business, black growth, black entrepreneurs, black here in Houston. And the Queen of Young, her name is Victoria. She's a chef here, but she's also the visionary behind Houston Host, the orchestrator. She's got a team, an excellent team that puts together this event. This is the second annual Houston Host, and she brings influencers from outside of the area, and some local, 
for us to really be able to see what Houston is like and what the business is like and why Houston is important and why black life is, is here the black life here why that black life is important and what's going on who the movers and shakers are and you know I am just so impressed with Victoria I'm impressed with this event I'm impressed with all of the people that were involved the chefs the designers you're gonna see fashion show clips at some point here but everybody involved absolutely stellar I was so impressed Now I'm taking that orange that I just showed y'all and putting it under the bottom. I keep getting what you call that stuff? Eyeshadow on my daggone Hmm. Now I'm going in with this deep brown here from the Festival palette. And I'm just going to... It's like I don't want to do anything too crazy just because I don't have that much time to be crazy. But I want to kind of deepen up. But yeah, shout out to Victoria. She did an amazing job. I can't wait to see how this event progresses and wishing and praying for many, many, many more years of this event because it's needed. And I would love to see other cities do the same. I know here in Nashville, we've got the Nashville Black Market and they have events the first Saturday of every month at the um, Farmer's Market where we showcase black business and music and dance and have a good time but she had a whole block party and then we had different events curated for the influencers to learn more about the businesses we went to a black owned wine bar which you'll see um I think her name is carissa clarissa carissa awesome 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 just to see us do so many different things and to be able to network and learn more about how people, as I would say, are building their glam lives, going after their dreams, and really seeing that it's attainable and achievable for you um, and for me. So that was important. I'm going to go in with my foundation now. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Matte Foundation in the shade 6W1 Sandalwood. Now, I do have discoloration, so... This matches my neck pretty well. No, but this this was so powerful for me to be here and connect and see people. And, you know, my following is still growing. I've struggled to balance caretaking for my mom. Mom moved in with me for almost two years during that pandemic literally a year and a half and trying to balance me and content creation and showing up for a corporate job you know just dealing with a pandemic and trying not to get COVID you know what I mean like there was so much craziness going on at one time and trying to navigate through that. I'm trying to make sure I get the sides of my hair, blend out the concealer above my shadow and into my hair. But I'm just so proud of everybody here. I love learning about the platform so this year they expanded from just promoting food 
you know, the chefs, the local chefs and the food businesses, food products, to the fashion and the beauty. So we had some fashion fashion show last night, food and fashion. And I, I enjoyed it so much. We even had like male designers. And that chef had a really cool apron line. I want to tag his stuff below. It all the, if I can remember everybody, I'll make sure that it's linked in the description box. But the food was exquisite. Each course had its own theme. So you had health and wellness, chopped and screwed, the best date night ever, um, Sunday fun day, brunch, you know, just the different things and the different outfits, the looks that the collaboration between the designers and the chefs was really nice. Okay, y'all, so I can't talk too long because it's 11 o'clock and I need to be down there at 11.30. So I'm going to go in with my um, hydrating camo concealer from e.l.f. in the shade Deep Cinnamon. And I put it down first because putting down the butterscotch for some reason left me with a really harsh... I just didn't look good. I don't know what was going on with me, but I wasn't looking good, so... I'll wait to and I'm just blending it in it's more skin tone color but I'm also blending it up to kind of get my face some shape I may have mentioned at some point that I've gotten a little chunky. I did a live on Friday. You can catch it on Facebook. But I've gotten a little chunky with stress and the pandemic. More so in my face, I'm carrying a lot more weight. I don't feel like I look as good. So I'm like less. Okay, so now I'm going in with the butterscotch again for highlighting purposes again. And this is where I put it. And then I take my I feel like the airplane pressure messed up the little spigot here. I'm like, oh no, I just pulled it off, y'all. Oh my god. Come on. I'm like, please don't tell me I'm going to have to door dash some setting spray. Mm. I'm, like, I'm about to bow, douse this stuff like holy water in a minute. Okay, forget it. It's 11 o'clock. I got 30 minutes. It's 11.03. I have less than 30 minutes, y'all. So, blue, blue. I'm looking in this mirror here to try to make sure I'm even. I quit trying to bring it down so far because sometimes it just looks weird. But I play around with how far down I'm feeling. Trying to make sure I blend around the eye too. But this gives the eye some shape. And you see how it's like bringing my, really enhancing my cheekbones, like bringing my face up. You can really see more of the oval in my face and less of the chunk. Okay, so now. That's not the right brush, is it? I'm going in with my Juvia's Place setting powder here. Highlighting powder. In the color Kalahari is from the I Am Magic setting powder. It's called I Am Magic setting powder. And it's from their... I don't know. Anyway, I love this 
setting powder because it's so friendly for melanated skin. You know that yellow that you want? You want like that golden yellow. It gives that. But in a soft way, not in a harsh way. And then I'd stick it in and dab it off because you don't want it to be too crazy. And then I just pat it in. It's so cool to me that I can record with my camera plugged in. So now I'm just like, I don't have to, this way I can record the makeup look and still have battery for when we go out in 20 minutes. I'm almost done, so I have more time to get the outfit together, which is good. But I wanted to give y'all some makeup because I'm multi-dimensional. I'll do fashion, the beauty, the lifestyle, the faith. We may get a little singing here, a little art. I do a lot of things, but beauty is very true to me. That's my grandmother was a lady tailored into beauty. My mom into beauty. There we go. This is so ghetto, y'all. <laughs> Do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do. Now I'm going in with, um, I'm going to use this one. The uh, Juvia's Place Deep Dark Bronze Palette. And I want to go in with this top brown and just bronze. Some days I'll do that to add some depth to the area. Depth, not depth, depth. Other days I'm just like, you know what? My nose does not need to be contoured. And I'll get a little bit around the head. So here's where we are now. Thank you for the precious Lamb of God Born in the sin that I may live again Precious Lamb of God I'm going in with NARS's Exhibit A. I want some orange. I want a little bit of orange in here. I mean, do I want to do a red lip or do I want to do something nudie pink? Now I've changed my mind. Okay, it's 11.08, y'all. So I'm going in with my Revlon blush brush, tapping and shaking. Mm -hmm. Mmm, y'all. I thought I wanted to do a red lip. 
Do I still? Dang. Now I'm confused. I'll be holding Precious Lamb of God, Lord, you love me so, shall never know. Precious Lamb of God. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this cork from MAC, cork liner. Even when I broke my heart. Hmm, I feel like I want to use this color. It's called Sugar Violet from Revlon. I'm not in the mood to do no heavy red look right now. And then I also may want to put a little pink in here. I got another pink here. It's a pink called Sky Pink from Revlon. Super Lustrous, the gloss. I'm just putting it here in the center. Now I'm going to take my liner and line and then we're going to get this show on the road because I'm going in with the matte black liner from Milani. And I can't line well on camera. That's not my ministry, y'all. It's not my ministry. I'm like, do I want to put a bottom liner? I'm going back in with my stay, the same stay put line, the stay put matte eyeliner. I'm going up the stay put, this was a liquid liner. I'm going in with the pen, slightly on the bottom. In the corner. And then I'm going in with my Maybelline Sky High Last Sensational. And it's in the color black because that's how I like it. Hey, baby, I like it all black.
I may put on that um red. I want y'all to see how this lifts the lash. I don't have anything else on my lash. Ooh, what time is it? Okay, 16. I got 15 minutes to get my clothes on. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm gonna put on the bottom lash, and then I'll come back and show. Well, put this on the bottom lash, and then I'll come back and show you all the full outfit. All right, y'all. So this is the outfit here, and now we are in the black car, headed on our way to brunch, and we're having brunch at the Drunken Corner. Stay tuned to see what we're eating. <laughs>
Chapman and Kirby's Bar was the next stop on our Sunday excursion. Hi. How are you, lady? Okay, y'all. So we've got oxtail in a variety, it's an oxtail mashup. So Chef Kurt Evans here made an oxtail shepherd's pie. I bit into it and it's delicious. So good. Can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration for your dish today? Um, so I really like taking dishes that are like, you know, that are like traditionally uh, from another culture and then adding ingredients like, so uh, shepherd's pie, really. So and we took the oxtail, we uh, braised them, uh, a little jerk marinade, a little barbecue sauce, pretty much like, like base. Um, uh, peas, carrots, uh, made the uh, uh, crust, and um, pretty much the sweet potatoes, we just roasted them. Uh, uh, puree them up and it's, it's topped with uh, coconut sugar and it's toasted. Okay. So if people would like to find you, where can they locate you? Uh, I'm from Philly. Uh, my Instagram is Kirk Cooks. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so Chef Ose Picky Blackett has a curry stew oxtail in the Trini style. So tell me about today's dish. So today we have a chickpea fritter, chickpea and turmeric. So for the, uh, the oxtail, it's basically braised. Put the oven fritter, it comes with a pineapple pepper sauce and a tamarind. So we got spicy and sweet, we got the sweet on the back end. Nice flavor, nice heat, but you get that sweet as well. Good on the palate, very smooth. Very good bite. So, you know, come check us out. Cool. Now, how can people find you? So you can find Buddha sauces, pineapple pepper sauce, and tamarind. Oh, cool. people find you online? He's a man with a plan, bro. Okay. How can we find you online? Chef Vicky underscore on Instagram. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Let me know what you think, okay? How's it going, brother? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. So, Chef Caleb for Raphael. He's got an oxtail zigni. zigni? Yes. Yeah, okay, Caleb. tell me about it. Oxtail zigni on a jetta. This is East African, Ethiopian, and Eritrean food. Ooh. It's really, really good. Okay. Eritrean food, we eat with our hands. So, you take a piece of injera, you take a piece of the meat, and you enjoy. What I have for you here today is oxtail zigni on injera. You get a bit of dressed beets, pickled fresno chili, roasted garlic aioli, sesame seed, and microgreens to garnish. Enjoy, enjoy. Let me know what you think. How Eat can we food. find you online? You can find me on Instagram at Chef Caleb. Caleb spelled K-H-A-L-I-E-B. Chef okay. Caleb on Instagram. Awesome. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you for coming by. Mm -hmm. You sail with all the spices, deboned for you, lots of cartilage. It's fatty, fatty, fatty. Uh, and then uh, we've got a berber and shrimp salt on there, and then a uh, melon kachumbari. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Hopefully it is. How Not can, a trash can right there, but how, don't do it there, I'll cry. How can we find you online? Oh, uh, Fish Company Taco, uh, so we're Fish Co Taco on Instagram, Fish Company Taco on Facebook as a whole, and uh, www.fishcotaco.com. Awesome, thank you. Fish Co Ta hashtag Fish Co Taco for okay. show. And tell me more about this dish again. So this is an 86 hour uh, sous vide uh, oxtail in all the spices. I mean like, if it's in my kitchen, it's in there. Uh, and then we've got uh, uh, Burberry and shrimp salt, and then a melon kachimari. Cool, sounds delicious. I hope it is. No. So Chef Joseph Boudreaux. Okay, so tell me about the dish. So it's going to be uh, braised oxtails that we braise in a beef bone broth and a little bit of goji jean. Um, that is then crisped up on the flat top. Uh, from there, we topped it with uh, pickled cabbage and uh, mustard green slaw. And then there's a Dijonese uh, with uh, folded confit garlic in there. And then we finish it off with crackling just for a little bit of texture. Okay, now how can we find you online? Uh, so I am at Booze Burgers generally, and we pop over here around the city. Okay, spell Booze for us. B double O S Burgers HTX.com. Okay, awesome. Thank you. No problem. Hi. How are you? I'm loving the setup here. Thank you, my love. How are you doing? I'm well. Tell me about what we've got going on today. Just made. Okay, just on the behalf. Okay. This is gonna be on the table. I'm gonna run. 
just so people don't keep coming. Competition of local chefs. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the food is so good. We actually have bartenders here as well, and they've got custom drinks, and it's a competition. And we both, the people vote on what dish and what drink they like the best. I love here. It's so nice. Everyone's vibing. The music's good. Everyone's having a good time. We're here in the historic third ward, and it's a great time. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bathroom and introduce you to some more people. <laughs> Okay. 
We got tea, lemonade. Okay, show me this. There we go. On the three grams of sugar. Oh, cool. What you think, That looks delicious. Now, how can we find you online? I would love one. Can you tell me more about your drink? Can you tell me more about the drink? Uh, Okay. How can we find you online? Uh, my Instagram is Drip Silver, and my uh, Facebook is uh, Mary Wendell Ryan. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm not a okay. <laughs> provide almost a 40 million dollars to restaurants nationwide we all be giving them business development support like marketing uh business expansion franchising merchandise and so thank you guys so much for being here and supporting us in this effort excuse me five hundred thousand dollars okay that's, that's out of this year y'all excuse myself f5 friends friends okay but also, I also want to make a mention as well, too, we are actually going to do a very special presentation to some individuals here uh, on stage with me today. Um, these folks have been very, very in, uh, impactful into the culinary industry, not only in the city. The food and the drinks weren't the only attraction here at the Oxtail Mashup. I had the opportunity of going in each of the houses, and there were separate art installations there for us to watch and enjoy. If I don't open these blinds, I'm going to lay in this bed forever and oh my god listen to my voice from all the talking and the yelling and everything this weekend i had such a great time but my body's like oh time to go home and sleep <laughs> so this is my last day in houston it's monday november the 7th happy birthday to greta greta sue greta g turns 38 so shout out to you greta know that you are loved and appreciated and wishing you many more amazing years but I'm going to lay in the bed for another 30 minutes and then I'm going to get up and go and get some breakfast. Then after that, I need to come back, shower and pack. My flight doesn't leave. I don't have to be on the plane. Well, the plane takes off at 445. So I at least need to be at the airport by 
2 30 or 3 and vicky's gonna take me the queen of yum um, i'm gonna leave her page details she is the um person the lady who did all of these amazing things everything that you saw me do she put together houston host is her baby it's her vision and i'm just so happy to be a part of it but she's taking me to the airport too she wears many hats many hats just so i don't have to pay for an uber so that's super exciting and I'm just trying to figure out what to do today. What to do today in the short amount of time that I still left, have left here in Houston. So, gotta get the room together. Okay, y'all, Nora's Nettie here. This is my last day in Houston. H-Town, it's going down. H-Town, okay. So, I wanted to show you all um, the gift bag that we got from the Houston host sponsor, H-E-B. H-E-B is a grocery store here in Texas. And um, I've met Alyssa. She's on the marketing team there. And she was at all of the events for Houston Host. And I think it's really cool that this grocery store had somebody from their business, you know, somebody black in the community at the events that they're investing their money in, not just to be there, but to be present and to be active and come up with ideas on how to make this event better so that it can continue to empower businesses in the community and showcase what Houston has to offer to people like me from Nashville and other areas who are outsiders and new you know not quite familiar with the community and what's going on here and what you should know about Houston and the culture and the people um, one of the words that Victoria used a lot this week was collective you know collective the collective finding people that would mesh well you know influencers content creators that would mesh well businesses that would mesh well you know people you know had a high quality of I care about the community, I have a great product, I have a great service, and I have a genuine care and concern about black people and our elevation and our, you know, success and our prosperity. So the big word that she used consistently this um, weekend was collective. So I wanted to take time to show you all this really cute bag, gift bag and the products that we got from H-E-B, shout out to Alyssa in H-E-B, had a great time meeting her and these products are dope. So many of these are products that are made by black people, black businesses. So H-E-B, I actually met a gentleman who, well two things, the sweet tea I forgot to show y'all, let me, oh it's in my suitcase already, Savannah Rose sweet tea punch. Maybe I'll show it when I get home, but that lady is dope. She's already in H-E-B. You can purchase her stuff there and online. I'll make sure to plug her below. Love her. Um, there's a gentleman, the Lord and Barrett. He has a sausage product that is going to be in H-E-B starting in January. So a lot of the businesses that were at brunch on the block, the black businesses, are actually selling their products and working with H-E-B. And you can purchase their products in store, which I think is phenomenal. Being able to go to a store and knowing that you're buying a product from a black person and knowing all the work that went behind them making the product and the love and the, the culture and the ingredients. It's just something really different about that. Now you see, I've already opened this bag. This popcorn here, the legendary Chicago style popcorn. This crazy mix, oh, I tore this up. I tore this up, I started day one. This bag's almost gone. I would have consumed it last night had I not fallen asleep. So, so, so good. Also, um, the Jank Gourmet Barbecue. I'm excited to try it. The cool thing about this is that it's diabetic friendly low sodium, no high fructose corn syrup, and gluten-free, no MSG. So, one thing that Alyssa had mentioned was the need for um, more communication and understanding on dietary needs and nutritional needs in this community. And so, to have a product in my bag, you know, that my mom, who has 
diabetes can consume without it affecting her health. You know, that's something, it, it's a product, it's a nice product to have to know that it's black owned, black made, but also nutritional and it's safe for our bodies. That's really good to know. And to have in your fridge, in your pantry. I have been seeing these wrap snacks everywhere, so I'm so excited to actually have a bag to be able to eat it. And then they put some black hair care, black beauty products in here, you know, wave cap. We've got a bonnet, infinity band, you know, lady edges. And I just want to show you all this cute little Texas logo, H-E-B. So nice. So, 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 so nice. And this Y2 comb. Y'all know I'm natural. Most of the time I have my hair out. So, this is going to be used. This is going to be used. But, yep, here's the cute bag. And it's got my name on the back here. This is Nora and Houston Host, that emblem. But I love this. Love this, love this, love this. Just wanted to show it to you all before I put this in my luggage. All right, everybody. So here is the last outfit <laughs> look of this trip. So I'm rocking these triangular earrings here from Walmart. You've seen this top in another video, the mock neck top. Every This is linked in my like to know it. If you want to get it, mock neck top in this cranberry color. I've got my jeans here that are also linked in the like to know it. And it's stretchy here. So... You know, I can eat and do whatever and not be too constricted, restricted. Love it. Also, I've got this denim jacket here. Pretty little thing. Pretty little thing. Got it thrown over because it gets a little cold in the airport, but it's pretty hot outside today. And then my sneakers from Walmart. And then you see my bag over here from Coach. This is my camera bag. So rocking it today but i've had a blast i've had a blast so thankful to be a part of houston host 2022 hopeful to work with the queen of yum and houston host in the future but definitely follow houston host online to see all of the amazing things that we've did this weekend i'm gonna link um links for the other content creators many of them are food bloggers food content creators so you can see and experience this event from their perspective as well and tune in for more videos day in my life fashion content with me um, i'm gonna have an outro here soon um just so we can con conclude rather the vlog but i'm so excited to be doing these kind of activities and really showing you all what it means to build your glam life in real time the good the bad and the ugly and i'm so thankful for you all for being glams and supporting me on this journey and being on the journey with me all right now y'all i'm gonna head back to nashville and i'll see you all on the other side bye Three, to nashville and boston will begin at 4 15 p.m at 3 hey glam so i learned a few important lessons on this trip so firstly i learned that what god has for you is for you secondly i learned that you need to keep showing up it doesn't matter how small you are in your endeavors at the time continue to show up that's how vicky was able to find me and i was able to go on this trip and then lastly i've been so embarrassed about the state of my teeth but i still showed up